Come, Johnny. One of my favorite viewers, Triple AM, requested more videos about music. So I thought it's time to get back to basics. And a while back, I talked about the Think Break, which, if you haven't watched that video, go check it out over here. And I'm going to do a little bit of a deeper dive. I'm going to talk about how it is that I take a break beat and how I personally chop it up and turn it into something that I find musically awesome. So we're going to do a bit of a dive into Ableton. It's going to be okay. So come on over. All right. So here we are inside of Ableton. Look at my pretty sound waves. The break we're going to focus on is one colloquial known as You Bad. Now, the way that I've learned how to cut breaks comes from way back in the days when I was using a hardware sampler. In the old days, you had to do it with knobs, and it was a real painful process. But in Ableton, it's just right-click, slice to new MIDI track, and then create one slice per quarter note. Bam! Hallelujah. And this creates four equal slices here, and now we're just going to play them one after another. So there's one thing you'll notice here. Take the second snare hit. It doesn't start exactly on the snare hit. And the reason why is this little breakbeat has its own internal groove that does not fit exactly to the four to the floor, computerized, exactly quarter note beats. And that's good. That's why I love breakbeats. So once you have this set of sliced breaks, you have not just these single hits, but these hits and micro grooves, if you will, that you can combine in different ways. So for example, we have this little four beat loop. Now we can take this loop, we can do things like duplicate it, and we can, we can hit the first snare drum a couple of times before ending off in the second, and it gives it a bit of variation. But that's not all that we're limited to. No, no. And then you can just keep fooling around until you get that feeling that you like. You can double up on some hits. You can extend some hits. You can cut the music out completely. Like, listen to that kick drum. It's got a lot of, I don't know, room sound to it. It sounds really good. So maybe I want to take that kick drum and really emphasize it. There we go. That is sounding pretty funky. All right, if you have a different method or even ways to improve my own method, I'd really love to hear about it. Send me your comments down in the doobly-doo below. And remember, kids, breakbeats are fun.